Gary, you've been in many grand finals with the Rhinos. Is there a bit of a different feeling to this one? A bit of a different one, yes, and it's a good one because uh, a Castleford leads uh, grand final is something special, especially for me coming from Castleford as I do. Uh, and there's so many Castleford leads connections, you know, Daryl Powell and even Luke Gale, of course, uh, came through our academy system. Uh, and uh, and I still live in the area, so I know the passion that it's created and the fervour in and around Castleford. And I actually attended the only other time that the two teams met in a grand final, which was, of course, the championship final back in 1969 and on that occasion I was a fanatical Castleford fan of course um, and Castleford had just won the Challenge Cup at Wembley went hoping to do the double which would have been huge uh, for, the, for the club and it was snatched away from them quite dramatically by Leeds I think, I think the score was 28-26 to Leeds so that was a devastating day for me at the time as a Castleford fan of course things are a little bit different now and uh, I won't be as disappointed if Castleford get beat on Saturday As the Rivalry between the two grown with the demise of the Bradford Leeds game. This seems to be one of the biggest games now in Super League. Everyone always looking forward to it. Yeah, it is. Uh, look, it's always been there. As I say, I grew up as a Catholic fan and there was a terrific rivalry with Leeds, the big city club, and that's still prevalent today and even more so because uh, Castleford have got such a good side. Uh, and... Uh, uh, I think it has become the eminent uh, uh, derby uh, and uh, you know I think one of the things that's made it is just the outstanding form and performances from the cast of the team and the fact that they've beaten us in the last eight games is quite a, you know, a remarkable achievement really but credit to them for doing so and uh, and that's that's uh, obviously hurts with us and uh, it acts as an inspiration for us to try and break that sequence. And looking at it, is it vindication for being patient with the players and the coaches involved last year when you probably had a, a disappointing year by your own standards that the same group pretty much has got you back to Old Trafford again? It is the same group, uh, only, only really the, the addition of Matt Parcell uh, and, um, and the same coaching staff. And yes, it, the easiest thing in the world would have been to make a load of changes at the end of next season, but you know, I had no doubt at all that uh, our best chances of success in 2017 was the group of players that we had and indeed the group of coaching staff. Uh, and I'm delighted that they've uh, they've justified that, uh, that hopeful prediction uh, and they've done it in some style as well. In a salary cap era, it was designed so more people, it was more wide open, but it's continued success at the Rhinos. You, you must be very proud of the fact that you've overseen this period of success. Yeah, it has. It's been quite a remarkable period for us, and uh, you know we're now seeing the the, the new next generation of uh, of leaders within the Leeds Rhino side. You know, two years ago we won the grand final, and then we lost Kevin Sinfield and Jamie Peacock and. Kylie Lulai and other players had to step up. They didn't really in 2016 because most of them were injured. But I think what we've seen throughout 2017 is the emergence uh, of, of quality players into real leaders. People like Callum Watkins and Brad Singleton, Stevie Ward and I think uh, Cal uh, uh, Liam Sutcliffe as well. Uh, some of these young players are now taking on the, the mantle of becoming leaders within, this, within this, in the side and uh, that's paid dividends. Just the last one, obviously Danny Maguire and Rob Burrow's last game at the weekend. What, how would you assess their contribution to the Rhinos over the last, what, 15 years or so? Yeah, a huge contribution, not only to the Leeds Rhinos, but to the, to the sport. And they've played nearly a thousand games between them, uh, nearly always uh, in the same Leeds Rhinos team, so it's going to be very strange. And uh, yeah, they've made a massive contribution both on and off the field. And... Uh, you know, in the years to come, people will be privileged to say, I saw Rob Burrow and Danny Maguire play and play together. Uh, people in Leeds still talk about with pride that they saw Lewis Jones play. And that's 50 odd years ago. Uh, and the same will be said about uh, Danny Maguire and Rob Burrow as well.